if we exclude virgins from the data set and look okay. at the CDC data and mm-hmm. we look at people 25 to 44, which I think is the best window because we were kind of post-college, that kind of thing. Sure. Um, we're, if we include 18-year-olds, you're going to get so many people who have only slept with one person. Sure, sure. Um, so let's start the data at 25. Let's go up to 44. Mm-hmm. So we're not just capturing too many married people. Looking at that group um, by CDC data and excluding virgins because virgins would pull the number down. Mm-hmm. The average body count in America using a representative sample is six for men and four for women. And that, that's that's median, which is a better thing. So a lot of people think, oh my God, that's shockingly low. And it's like- <laughs> I really felt that was low. Think beyond your social circle. Think about people who weren't sexually out there in college, right? Who were focused on their studies. Think about people who are religious. Think about people who didn't go to university who are working in like a sleepy Midwestern town. We're talking about America. We're talking about yeah. America as a whole. Yeah. And America is That's a very a diverse peop- diverse place with lots of different lifestyles, lots of different beliefs. And then also, what do we see? We see that promiscuity even, even on college campuses. Yeah. It's a tiny percentage of people having sex with everyone in that group. Yeah. Like the process of getting naked with a stranger for a huge portion of people is actually highly unpleasant okay. like it's just like oh my god like i would never do that like yeah. they have it maybe it's religious leanings but also it's mm-hmm. just that sex is a risky activity and Absolutely. it's a very intimate activity i, I mean the anthropologist helen fisher she, she said to me there's no such thing as casual sex um <laughs> because the hormones involved they, they're not i'm paraphrasing her but they're, they're not playing they're not playing a casual game yeah um it's a serious thing to do to sleep with somebody so it's a small group of people with very high body counts who are all sleeping with each other and then Everyone else is basically getting a girlfriend, getting a boyfriend, sleeping yeah. with them only for a few years. They break up. They get a new girlfriend, sleep only with them. Maybe they have a one night stand somewhere in there. Maybe they have sure. a friends with benefits situation at some point, and then they get married. So that's, you know, you that's end up a- at around four, five, six, nothing crazy. Whose body count do we actually know? The only body count you actually know is your own. And then it's kind of maybe what your friends have told you, right? And friends lie. Like people aren't always ob- honest about their body count. And maybe lying is accounting for the CDC data. I don't think it is because men okay. tend to exaggerate their body count sure. and men are still saying six. Okay. So that's, uh, that's not that high. Like if they're yeah. exaggerating to six, yeah. it's, they're, they're not exaggerating that much. So I, so I would really push back against people saying that they're deflating it. Maybe there's a slight inflation by men and deflation by women. And that's why we right. see six and four. Yeah. Um, because technically it should be the same. Um, but, but, but men are also more likely to be virgins. There are more of them are excluded from the data set and the ones that are included are on the higher echelon. Uh, got it. Um, but that's just the likely math behind it. But it's like, whose body count do we know? It's like, I think a lot of it comes from the fact that the main people who we ask body count are maybe people who we were about to sleep with or we've right. just slept with. It's like kind of a curiosity question. It's like, how many people have you banged? You know, like, yeah. how many people have you done this with? They will have slept with more people as a result of the fact that they're more likely to be sleeping with you. Like the average oh, okay, person you right. sleep with, again, it's that confusing thing. Yeah. yeah like, it's the same phenomenon as the average person you're friends with yeah. has, has more friends than you okay. because they just mathematically, <laughs> they, 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 that, those people get so much exposure. Right. That you're more likely to see them. Right. Yeah. So the average person who you sleep with, unless you're yourself very much up there, is going to have a higher body count than you. And that's going to warp your perception. 